Welcome to the Lynn Lineup, a show that highlights upcoming events happening in the Lynn community. Today my guest is Mark Boland, and we're here to talk about the second annual Rock for a Reason fundraiser that's going to be happening on Saturday, March 3rd, 2018, from 6 to 11.30 p.m. at the Knights of Pythias Hall on Maple Street in Lynn. Thank you for joining me, Mark. Thanks for having me. So we're just going to kind of inform people about what the event mm -hmm. is and try to get people excited to go down. Mm -hmm. um, so let, let's just start out with a basic question. Um, what made you guys want to create this event? It's the second annual. Well, one of my main passions is uh, I do booking and promotions for a lot of local bands. And we figured what better way than putting everything together and maybe just doing a show to raise money for local charities with local bands. Um, last year in the past we started our first annual Rock for a Reason. Uh, we raised over a thousand dollars for each charity. Um, we had an amazing turnout, amazing generous people that uh, they donated raffles. We had a 50-50 uh, we have food donated, so it's very unselfish community-wise to come together and put on this event that can have all proceeds go to this event and these charities. And we were talking before and um, another reason that you guys started was to keep the memory of one of your friends alive as well. Yes, well that was uh, Tony Melanson. He unfortunately passed away. and. Uh, there was a, a fundraiser in his memory through Lynn Classical High School. Uh, that's a fundraiser, it's called the Melanson Charitable Corporation, which they do pub crawls, they do 5Ks, anything to raise money for a high school student that has a financial burden. And uh, last year, the it, like I said, it was over $1,000 for each charity, so it keeps the hopes alive of somebody further, furthering their uh, education and coming together as a community and doing great positive things to to help Lynn, Massachusetts. So, so the tickets are uh, at the door now. How much? Fifteen, right? Fifteen dollars at the door. All proceeds again go to the charities. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Which is incredible. Yes. Um, and you, we've mentioned charities a couple of times. We've mentioned the Melanson uh, Scholarship Foundation, but uh, mm -hmm. what other charity? Uh, the other charity we're doing this year is My Brother's Table. So they are very appreciative of what we're doing for them as well. And that is also a, uh, the Knights of Pythias. That's their charity. And they'll be the hosts this year. So we're giving back to them as well. Uh, and would you be able to talk a little bit about the Open Arms Scholarship? Uh, yeah, that, that's a, an amazing scholarship that it's near and dear to a lot of our hearts. And for anybody to come down and see what we can put together for, for that and my brother's table, it's just uh, such a fun night. And I, I, I was blown away last year by the turnout and how much fun it really was. And right, now let's get a little bit more into the fun aspect of mm -hmm. it. So um, th this is going to be just a essentially four hour rock concert, correct? It is. There's breaks in between where we do the raffles and um, I get on the mic and we have a little laugh but you know it, it's pretty much just great tunes. Uh, all the bands are unbelievable they put to, they put together a set where there's cover songs involved and songs that you know instead of just you know all original that you just, you might not know the song but i mean these bands are actually i'm impressed with them because again they're they're also donating their time their equipment their energy to help in these causes <clears throat> So it'll be a mix of cover and original music. Um, yes. Who exactly is uh, on tap to perform? Uh, and are they all local There's bands? four local bands. Uh, one band is Starlight Grey. Um, they're a great alternative rock band um, out of Lynn, Mass. 
the dirty floorboards, same thing, unbelievable. Auto, also out of Lynn Mass, uh, set the nation out of Lynn Mass. I mean, it's proud for me to say that, you know, and Monkey Knife Fight, their shows are mostly in Lynn Mass. They're, they're a little further than here, but they support the community as well. And you, you can't beat that. So Yeah, it's fantastic that you're getting a bunch of Lynn mm. bands to play this sort of event. And we hope and in the future that we can get more and more and we just b keep building this. That know? would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I, I can attest, I've been to an event where the Dirty Floorboards played. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, I set my expectations low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they are fantastic. They are. Right? Actually, as soon as we were done, my fiance and I, we went home. She looked up them on Facebook, mm -hmm. liked the page, yep. started looking up to see if there were any other shows, and we Absolutely. did go and end up seeing another show. So, Absolutely. So these bands are good, and they're, it's fantastic to support mm -hmm. a local band as well. Absolutely. Um, and it, it's important for people to know that um, this is a 21-plus event. Yes. This is a 21-plus event. Maybe in the future... At a different venue, as this thing grows, we can make it an 18 plus event or, or maybe just a family event. Um, there's so much room for change in the good way and you know, this could turn into a big, big thing around here. So. And there will be food and drinks available for yep, people as well? Yeah, there will be uh, donated uh, finger foods. This isn't really gonna be a sit down dinner type atmosphere, but there'll be things to pick at. Um, all just with your donation at the door. Um, beverages, you know, so, I mean, there's there's no way not to have a good time at this. There's amazing people. Um, everybody's there looking out, and they're all there for the same reason, to support a great cause, or causes, you know. So we only got a couple of minutes left. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else you'd like to say to people to convince them to go? And if anybody has any questions, how would they be able to contact you? Well, I'd like to say that uh, I'm born and raised in Lynn, and I take a lot of pride in, in this city. And I know that there's a great amount of talent. There's artists, there's, there's camera crews, there's photographers. There's so much talent in this city that if, if we can just expose it a little bit, it can grow and grow. And that's pretty much my message. You, you gotta support your local, your local talents to keep this city great and and keep you know the negativity out when you could there's always positive well thank you very much mark for thank joining you very me. much for having me so again that's the second annual rock for a reason fundraiser it's going to be held on saturday march 3rd 2018 from 6 to 11 30 p.m at the knights of pythias hall on maple street that's all for this episode of the Lynn Lineup. Thanks for watching.